Hi, and welcome to the Screenplay Series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to manage script revisions. Scripts go through multiple iterations, and keeping track of all this can become cumbersome. Luckily, Studio Binder gives you full control over script revisions. Here on the screenplay page, on the left, you will see a screenplay revision sidebar. If the sidebar is not visible on your end, you can click the sidebar button here to show it. Within this sidebar will be all the different versions of the script, which includes the version number, color, and name, as well as if the script has been synced to the project. Clicking the More button for the version will reveal a drop-down menu with additional options to rename, duplicate, or if the script has not yet been synced to the project, remove. You can use the rename option to change the version color and number as well as the script name. The duplicate option to create a new version of the script. And the remove option to remove a version of the script that has not been synced to the project. When it comes to saving the script, Studio Binder screenplay page saves automatically for you. However, you can always save manually by clicking the Save button here. You can also adjust the autosave settings by clicking the More button and selecting Autosave Settings from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up, there are options to autosave every 20 seconds, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or never. I'm going to stick with 20 seconds and click Save. Lastly, each version of the script on the left sidebar will have their own revision history or each time the script has been saved. To view this, click the More button and select Revision History from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up, you will see a list of each save of the script along with the dates and times of the save. You can click the file name to preview the script, the Make Current button to load the script into the screenplay page, or the Remove button to delete the version. You will also notice the Server Versions and Local Versions tabs. The Server Versions tabs will show all of the saves that are available on the server, and the Local Versions will show only those that are on your browser's local storage. The Local Versions tab is used in the event you lose connection to the server, and you will have the same options to preview or download the script. Additionally, you can find backups of any documents created on the Screenplay page in the Screenplays folder in the Media Library, which can be found by hovering over the Plan option here in the left navigation sidebar and selecting Media Library from the pop-out menu. These files can be downloaded and re-imported into the project or a new project if needed. In the next lesson, I'll be covering how to sync a script to the project. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.